So too many players, they don't have the proper swing, right? They might have it in practice, but then when the match starts, they start going like this or like that or like this, and they just can't hit a quality ball. If you guys struggle with a not proper swing, then this is the technique for you. Yes, a disclaimer, there are different finishes, right? You have Nadal with the buggy whip, you got Murray, you can come around, but if you use this finish in all your shots, you will ensure that you have the proper swing every single time, okay? So all I want you to do for the forehand, right, is once you're done with the forehand, all I want you to do is make sure that you catch the racket over your shoulder with your opposite hand. Once again, when you swing, once you're done, you're going to catch the racket with your opposite hand. Again, if you catch that racket with your opposite hand, that's going to mean that you have the proper swing every single time. And again, you can go like this, or you can go like that, but when it starts to get fast and you're in a match and you're not thinking, you're probably gonna slow the swing down, or you're gonna start to go like this, or start to go like this, right? If you catch the racket with your opposite hand every single time, that's going to ensure that you have a consistent swing. Now, a disclaimer, when I tell my, all my students in person to do that, this is what they start doing. They start swinging and catching. And again, they'll swing and they'll catch. They'll swing and they catch. Make sure you swing, you finish your shot, and then you catch it with your opposite hand. There's a big difference. You wanna let your racket do the work. You don't wanna slow your racket or stop your racket. It's momentum, right? So do not do this. Swing first, finish, then catch. Once again, swing first, finish, then catch. When I teach students, mostly beginner, intermediate students, this technique, I always tell them first to just get comfortable. Before I even tell them to catch, all I tell them to do is just point their elbow to the target. Once again, I'm gonna tell them to just point their elbow to the target. I'll have them do a lesson or two just with that, right? And then when you tell them to catch it with the opposite hand, they're already so used to the elbow tip, then they're going to always finish and then catch. So maybe if you're learning this, if you're new, just work on the elbow first and then work on the catch, okay? What I don't want you to be doing, the last time, I'm gonna say this again, but I really want you to make sure that you're not doing this, is you don't wanna swing and catch at the same time. Swing first, elbow, and then catch with your opposite hand. Now, for the two-handed backhand, if you ever have a bad two-hander, you come around, you just can't have that consistent swing. Instead of elbow, all you're gonna think is elbows. I want you to think of it more like golf, right? You're Tiger Woods, you're gonna hold your finish, right? So when you finish this two-handed backhand, all I want you to think is once you're done, look, both of my elbows are pointing up, right? Once again, when I swing, both of my elbows are pointing up. Let's do three more. Two more, elbows up, and one more, okay? So once you're done, every single time, I do not only want my left elbow, this is where players start to go wrong with this finish, right? is that they'll swing and they'll swing around, right? They're coming around the ball. You don't want that. Look, my left elbow's up, but my right elbow's down. What you guys want to do is you want both of your elbows up pointing to the target. Once again, once I swing and I finish my shot, I want both of my elbows up. By keeping both my elbows up, that ensures that I'm swinging low to high and having the proper swing every single time. So just to review, for the forehand, I want you to swing, catch with that left hand. For the backhand, I want you to swing, and both elbows are up. Now for the one-hander, and I'm not a, a one-handed backhander, but I teach one-handers, right? Is when you finish, you wanna finish with that racket up, all right? I like to do the left side of the letter V. If you're a right-handed player, if you're a lefty, you're going to right side of the letter V, right? When I finish my one-hander, I wanna keep my racket, look, if you guys could visualize this, that's the V, right? I want it on the left side of the letter V. By keeping my racket on the left side of the letter V, that ensures that I have a proper swing path every single time. Where one-handers go wrong is that they start to go like this. They start to roll their wrist too much. And again, you can, but if you're struggling with an inconsistent swing path, then you can do this and it will make it consistent every single time. So when you finish again, you're gonna hold your racket up left side of the letter V. Once again, you're gonna swing and hold the racket. Let's do three more. Let's do two more. 
and one more. So every single time, if you can see that you're doing the left side of the letter V, you will be able to have a consistent swing pass. So if you ever struggle having a consistent swing, all you're going to do, again, is for your forehand, you're going to swing, catch with that opposite arm, make sure you swing first and then you catch. For the two-handed backhand, you're going to have both of your elbows up. And for the one-hander, you're going to hold your finish and point your racket up. If you guys can implement these strokes into your game, you guys will be able to hit a much more consistent ball. Guys, when friends ask you, how are you winning so many more matches and points, tell them it's because you follow Tennis with Tyler. Have a good one, guys, and happy hitting.